For today's props class, you are going to need a squishy ball. All right, we are going to start on our backs with the ball underneath one foot. Let's begin with some nice hip rolls. So deepening through the abdominals, rolling yourself up through the spine, equal weight on both the foot that's on the mat and the foot that's on the ball. And then rolling yourself back down, deepening through those abdominals as you do so. Really feeling how already I can feel that shake, shake, shake on the ball leg. Deepening through those abs, finding the glutes, rolling yourself up through the spine. I'm really trying to keep as equal weight as possible on both legs here. Rolling down. And again, rolling up through the spine, feeling those glutes and hamstrings kicking in on that ball leg and melt. We are gonna stay up here on the next one. So rolling yourself through the spine, deepening those abdominals all the way up through the ends of the legs, taking a breath in. On my exhale, I'm gonna roll the ball out. So I'm really anchoring through my leg that's on the floor as I roll the ball out and in. Feeling the inner thigh on my supporting leg really working here. Three, two, try not to sink into my hip. One more time, bring it back. Find the leg, roll down through the spine, all the way down, and letting it release. Switch yourself off to the other side. So placing the ball underneath the foot, deepening through the abdominals, finding the glute, equal weight through both feet as you roll up through the spine, reaching out through the knees, and then melting and melting and melting. Inner thighs working here. Let's do it again. Boots are on, roll it up, reach it out, and melt, and melt, and melt, all the way down. Let's do two more. Rolling up inner thighs, really active, pressing down into that ball, and melt and melt, and melt. One last time, we're gonna come up and stay. Rolling up, Ooh, feeling that little bit of work already right off the bat. Reaching out through the knees, I'm gonna have a light touch on my ball as I roll it out and pull it in. Glute nice and supportive. I'm gonna do two more here, and one. Pulling it back in, rolling down through the spine, all the way down. Both feet are gonna come onto the ball, and I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. As I curl up, I'm gonna roll that ball out. Bring it back in. Exhale, curl up and over. And so you want to make sure that the chin is not jamming into the chest. Pulling those abs in. Pelvic floor. And again. Let's do two more. Holding it out there. I'm going to lift one leg away from the ball, holding it there. Lower back down. Lift the other leg. Lower it back down. Pull it all back in. Let's do it again. 
curl. Lift one leg. Feel the oblique kick in a little bit. And down. Try not to shift too, too much through the waist. And down. Back in. Let's do it again and build on it. Rolling out. Leg up. Pull it in. And let's rotate one. Two. Three. Four, five, little movement. Six, two more. Last one. Back to center. Reach the leg out. Pull it all in. Lower down. Other side. Curling up. Whew. And up with the leg. Feel that work. Pull the leg in. Rotate one. Little movement, two. Three. I'm just rotating through that spine. Head, collarbone, rib cage. Three more. Tiny movement. One more time. Reach the leg out. Pull it in. And lower down. All right. Legs stay on that ball. I'm going to curl up. Open the leg. Pull it back in. Curl up open. And in. Pulling up through that pelvic floor every time I curl. Let's do this for four. And three, how are you doing? I can definitely feel that work. And two. One more time. Let's come up and stay. Why not? We're going to lift one leg up and roll the other leg out for five, four, Three, two, one. Pull it in, lower the leg down, lower the upper body, close those legs. We have to do the other side. Curling up, bring that other leg up into a nice tabletop extended position and roll that leg out on the ball. Two more. Ooh, can you feel those abs? Lower the legs down. Close the legs as you lower the upper body. All right. We are going to take that ball now and place it underneath the pelvis. Whew. So just taking a moment to feel the opening of the abdominals now that the ball is under the pelvis. You want to make sure that it's right underneath the, the sacrum, which is the flat part of your pelvis. You don't want it so far down your bum that you start to sink into the back, nor do you want it so high up your back that you're arching. So there is a happy medium between those two extremes, feeling that nice work here. So when you're ready, on the exhale, we're going to drop through that pelvic floor, bring our legs up into tabletop. I'm going to do heels together, toes apart, and I'm going to go right away into my nice little frogs. So I'm reaching my legs out, deepening those abdominals, and then bringing the legs back in. Squeezing the bum as I go out, and coming back in. Feel those inner thighs zipping, zipping, zipping. Let's do two more. And I'm just flexing and pointing my feet to get some nice ankle mobility in there. We're gonna hold it out there. 
start to beat those heels together. Quick little beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pause. Lower the legs down just a little bit. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pause. Deepen the abs, lower the legs another inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pause. Bring them up an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pause. Bring them up another inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pause. Bring them down an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pause. Lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. Let's bring them all the way up. Flex the feet nice and wide. We're going to open the legs into a nice wide V. I can only go so far. I hit my table. And then pull those inner thighs together. This is a really nice stretch for those inner thighs. Bringing the legs back together. Really enjoy the stretch here. Enjoy that stretch. We're gonna do a couple more here. Feeling those inner thighs working. Bring those legs back. One more time. I wish I could go further with my leg, but I hit the table. And in, I'm going to point my feet, but keep my legs turned out. And I'm going into leg scissors, bringing my right leg toward me. My left leg is going to go nice and long to the floor. And then I'm going to switch. Exhaling here. Inhale, up, exhale. Inhale, up, exhale. Inhale, up. Working. Through those legs. Feeling that little bit of instability from the ball. And if you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can bring the arms up, which is going to make you work a little bit harder. One more time on each side. Turning the legs in, bend. I'm going to keep my legs up as I bring my legs, or my arms up as I bring my legs down. And taking the ball away. Okay. We are slowly moving this ball up our body. Now we're going to place it at the shoulder blades, about where the bra strap hits. So again, I'm not so far down my back that I feel like my bottom ribs are really being yanked up to the ceiling. But I'm also not so far down that I'm more into my neck. There is a happy medium. You want to find the place where the shoulder blades feel like they are supported. And it's kind of like if you were at the beach and you kind of looked up to see what was going on in the water, that's where you want the ball to, to rest comfortably. I am in a neutral spine here. I'm not letting my back sink into the floor. Pulling my abdominals in, hands behind the head, and we're going to go into a little bit of extension. So the head is going to start to lead the way back. I want to feel like I'm reaching away from my bottom ribs, so I'm not pushing my ribs up to the ceiling, but instead I feel like I'm lengthening. This should feel really nice after the ab work we did at the beginning of the class. And then tipping the head forward, feel like you're coming up like a big rainbow to your knees, curling up. So I'm not sinking in my ribs. Lengthening back. And exhale. Now, if letting the head go back gives you a little bit of vertigo and you don't really like it, then don't let your head drop. You can stop at the neutral and still get some nice extension in the spine. Then tipping the head forward and really begin to curl through the abdominals. 
and through that rib cage to come up. So it's not this humongous movement. Feel like you're coming up and over, up and over, up and over. Really feel the abdominals engaging. I'm going to do two more like this. And one more time. And I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging now. I'm going to bring my legs up into tabletop. I'm going to extend over. And exhale as I come up. I'm going to reach one leg out. Pull it in, find the control in your extension now. Suddenly that part becomes a bit more challenging and then I'm reaching the leg out. So now I'm on a very unstable base. You can see the shaking in my abs. I feel this work with you as you do it. Reaching out. How you doing? Last one here. Bring it in. Go back into a little extension. Curling up. Staying in the ab curl now. Let's go with a nice little toe tap. Tap it down. Lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. So I'm maintaining my neutral pelvis as much as I can. So I'm not popping my back. Two. One. Lengthen back. Lots of abs. Curl up, reach the arms out, lift them up, reach them out, lift them up. So balancing against the ball, only one point of contact on the solid surface. Two. One. I'm going to reach forward. I'm going to use the ball to help me here. I'm going to reach ooh, behind my hands and come to sit all the way nice and tall in a nice little half roll back. I'm going to reach my arms out. Scoop, scoop, scoop. See if I can find that ball again. Ooh, there it is. But I think it's moved a bit. Let's bring the arms back. Let's try that again. I'm going to bring my hands behind my uh, legs for a little bit of extra support. Exhale, deepening through those abs, coming up woo, into a nice little half roll back. You can see it's a challenge. And then deepening those abdominals, really controlling through the scoop as I find the ball again. Trying to correct it. Last one here, arms behind the legs. Exhale. Coming up nice and tall. Lowering the legs down. And up. Excellent. All right, from here, legs out nice and straight. We're going to go into our roll up. So I'm scooping through the tummy muscles. You thought we were done with abs. Oh no, we keep going. Nice big exhale here. Rolling up through the spine, up and over those legs. Scooping through the tummy muscles. Rolling back down. Up and over those legs. All the way down. One more time to come up. Over those legs and stack yourself nice 
and tall through the spine. Fix your pants. I always find that that particular exercise yanks on the pants a little bit. All right, we're gonna look at some half roll back work. We are going to take the ball and place it between the knees. Nice and tall through the spine, scooping through the tummy muscles, holding that there. I'm gonna drag my toes toward my bum and then bring my legs up into my teaser prep position. Squeezing the ball one, two, three. If this is too hard or a little bit too much today, you can bring the hands behind you for a little bit of extra support. Four, three, two, and one. Lowering at the knee to bring the feet down and then rolling up nice and tall through the spine. Let's do it again. Scooping. Dragging the feet toward the bum, coming up. From here, we're gonna do a little toe tap. Tap and tap. Tap and tap. Deepening those abdominals. Let's do this for four and three, two, one. Lower the legs together. Get nice and tall and tall and tall through the spine. I find that that can really get into the hip flexors. So I'm just gonna take the ball away do a couple of easy movements through my legs, and then we're gonna continue. So, last exercise with the legs with the ball. Between them, we're gonna scoop through the tummy muscles. Drag those heels, legs up. This time, we're gonna extend one leg. Extend. Extend, so you can always bring your hands behind you if it feels like it's too much to maintain the curl. Four. And three. And two. And one. Lower. Get tall, get tall get tall. We take the ball away and we're going to go into a little bit of oblique work now. So just going into a lovely little scoop. It's like we're doing a little figure eight or a little infinity sign. So just doing a nice little row and row, working through the abdominals and the obliques. And four, three, two, one. Arms out, nice and tall. One more time, scooping. This time, let's bring one leg up and we'll, uh, let's go under, up and under over and under, over and under, over and under, three, two, one, and up, lower down, go right away to the other side, under and up, under and up. Keeping that scoop, keeping that bent leg, which is shaking, 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 two, and one, down, all the way up tall. All right, let's move into a little bit of side lying work. We're gonna take the ball and place it underneath the bottom leg. Lying nice and long. The first thing I'm gonna do is stretch out through my hip. So I want to feel like my top hip is reaching toward my bottom leg. That way I'm not hiking up into, uh, into my waist. But 
but instead feeling really long. You can also think of that bottom rib as gently pulling in and away from the floor. My hips are square, and what I'm gonna do is <laughs> bend that top leg so my knee and my toe are touching, then engaging the glute, I'm gonna lift the leg up and down. So I'm actively pressing down into the ball. It's giving me a good amount of instability to play with. Keep going. Not easy, maintaining that stability. Let's do this for four, three, two, one. I'm gonna hold that there and press down to the ball and release, down into the ball and release. So a little bit of extra activation. I can feel my oblique kicking in just a little bit more as I do that. And one. From here, I'm gonna slide my leg down, then big kick, flex the foot down. Big kick up, flex the foot down. You can absolutely take your top arm and place it on the floor for a little bit of extra support. Or you can challenge yourself by taking the hand away from the floor, holding it up to the ceiling, or even overhead, which is a very nice challenge as well. Ooh, two more. One more. I'm gonna keep that leg lifted, moving into side kicks here, flexing my foot, kick, kick, engaging the leg as I bring it back. So again, not a crazy huge movement, because that ball really does make things a little bit more challenging as you can feel. I'm gonna do two more here. One more time. From here, holding my leg back slightly, it is turned out, I'm going into eight circles, pressing down to the ball, trying to keep my hips square, and my balance on, two, and one, and then reversing that. Ooh. Four, three, two, and one, and down. Excellent. We are not going to the other side yet. We are going to come onto our bellies first. So I'm going to reach that ball out pulling my abdominals in for support away from the floor, actively pressing into the ball, drawing the shoulder blades down the back as I come into a little extension. And the ball is gonna help me with that movement. And then I'm gonna let it go. And again, lengthening, lengthening, lengthening out through the top of the head. The shoulder blades are going to glide down the spine here and down. up, really engaging those glutes and inner thighs. And down. One more time. I'm gonna bend my elbows and pull the ball in toward me. It's not gonna go all the way. And then I'm gonna reach out. But it kind of rolls towards the ends of my fingers and then out. And then the ball is my most favorite prop of all the Pilates equipment. It's so versatile. It's so much fun to play with. Two more here. One more time. Melting down, continue to reach out through those hands as you do that. We're gonna come up, draw those shoulder blades down the back. I'm actively pressing into the ball, 
pulling the abdominals in, squeezing the glutes. I'm going to come up with my legs. Flutter kick, flutter kick, flutter kick, flutter kick. Little kicks, pushing down into that ball for support and stability. Shoulder blades drawn down the back for this. Pulling those abs in for six and five, four, three, two, one. Reach everything out long and down you go. Let's do that one more time. Shoulder blades down the back, lengthening out through the top of the head, coming up into that little extension with the legs and we flutter kick, flutter kick, flutter kick, pulling those abdominals in and away from the floor. And four, three, two, and one, reaching out long, melting it all down. We're just gonna push ourselves quickly to a child's pose. Let everything stretch out there. And then you can roll yourself over to the other side. I'm going to turn myself so I can continue to look at you. But we've got to do the other side of our sideline work. So placing the ball underneath the foot, making sure that the hips are nice and square, and I'm drawing that hip down toward the heels so that way I'm not sinking into my um, waist and hiking into my hip. From here, we are, what are we doing? Uh, we're doing our clams and coming up. So you just, you block it out and down. You just block out what you did. Whew. Nice little clam here, actively pressing into that ball. Let's do this for four and three, two, one, we're gonna hold it there, press down into the ball and release, press down and release. So finding that little bit of extra work. Keep going, four, three, two, and one, hold that. Pressing down into the ball one last time. And then we're gonna extend the leg nice and long. And then from here, we're going to lift the leg up, point the foot, bring it down. And up, down. Let's do two more like this. One last time. Keeping that leg lifted, we're going into our scissor kicks here. So one leg forward and back. So not a huge movement. I'm trying to keep my torso really nice and stable. And I can feel a huge difference from when I have my hand up in the air for stability versus when it's down on the mat. So challenge yourself, but you want to keep that torso really nice and supported and stable. Last one here. Keep the leg turned out. We're moving into eight circles. Two, three. So I'm still pressing down into the ball. Three, two, and one. And then we're reversing that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And coming down. All right, up onto your hands and knees for our last big section. Placing the ball behind the knee. I'm gonna have to bring my heel closer to my bum because otherwise the ball will fall away. So already you're gonna get more hamstring work by doing that. We're going into fire hydrants. So I'm gonna lift my leg out to the side and down. Lift it out to the side and down. And ideally, I'm not rotating too much through my pelvis as I'm doing this. I really want to think of 
working just the thigh bone in the hip joint. Let's do this for four, three, two, one. Holding it there, circles one, and two, and three. So I'm getting a pretty good range in my circle here. I'm really allowing for the leg to go through the hip hinge. So I'm really feeling that work at the top. One more time here and that release at the bottom. Let's reverse it. Up and release. Up and release. Three, four, and five, six, seven. One more time here. And eight. The leg comes down. We're not done. We're going to bring our leg up and down. Squeeze the glute up and down. Trying to stay very quiet in my back here so I'm not overarching. This is where that hip hinge comes into play so that I can move easily through the hip joint without compromising my back stability. Two. Let's hold that up there. Pulse it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten and come on down. Let's go right away to the other side. So, trying to equalize the weight between my foot and my hands, opening and closing the leg. I'm on my fists here because I have a bit of tendonitis in my wrist, but you can absolutely be on your hands for this. Let's do this for four. Keep the head lifted, three, two, one, and we're going into our circles, one, and two, three, four, Woo, five, feeling that work at the top of the circle for six, and seven, last one in this direction for eight, and then reversing that circle. Working your way through it, feeling the glute working at the top. Four more. And three. How you doing there? Two. One. We're going to come down and go into our little donkey kicks and down. So again, Working through the hip joint. Four left. Four. Three. Two. One. Holding it there. Pulse it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And down. Take the ball away. Go for a really nice stretch. Rolling yourself up through the spine. Let the ball help you with that roll. We're just going to come into a nice spine stretch forward using the ball to help us out here. So the legs are going to come a little bit wider than the mat. Letting the head fall forward. Let that ball help you roll out. Rolling up through the spine. One little leg over vertebrae at a time. And again, rolling out. And rolling yourself back up. Stacking yourself up nice and tall. All the way tall on top of those sit bones. Thank you so much for joining me. I absolutely adore the ball as a prop. You will most definitely be seeing more videos like this. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.